Did he just spit bars? He just Out here in Florida? On my mother them. It's only bars. I live bars. He lives? Call me Xanax. Ooh. At the bars. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He's got to show us his boot the bar. Burr. He doesn't have no bars. He has no bars. He bars. Not the one for the drink. Mmm. Mmm. Why you rather be? <laughs> Why is this getting so violent? Why don't you talk to me about the struggles of the barber life, the sacrifices that have to be made? Well, you see, it all starts when you live on the water, right? Sometimes you get birds and gators, and sometimes there's sharks. Sometimes you get stuck in the water. And, uh, I just to sometimes out. life throws you a rope. You don't have enough money. And you suck it up into the propeller. <laughs> Sometimes, look, hey, pan the camera this way. Sometimes you can't afford a dock, so you just have to, like, it just ends. It just ends. And then your kids, your kids' basketballs roll into the water. That, that's not a good look. See, this is where the barber lives, and then this is where the millionaire lives. Right. Barber, millionaire. So, gofundme.245.com. You guys are sending donations there. <laughs> Help us get a dock. www.helpusgetadock.com. Jeez. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize what the struggle was like. Because we've got, we got pathways, you know, vehicles that take us everywhere. I didn't know this was going to I mean, we got a boat that fits five, but we can't fit seven. Right, you guys like Like, you guys don't talk about this type of stuff. I think people really can see the struggle. He doesn't even have an engine. There's another YouTuber, look. Oh, There's another yeah, YouTuber. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. 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 This guy's a YouTuber. This guy's a YouTuber right here. Millie subscribers. Oh my God, you're the... You guys stop yes, calling sir. Tyler. We're trying to talk. Hey, 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 ask either way. No, stop. You're good, man. stop calling Tyler. No, he's not good. No, he's not. Yes, sir. That's okay. Oh, absolutely, man. We shave everything. If you want to get a hot towel shave, man, we'll do two towels. We can shave everything. Shave, the grain. We'll shave across the grain. Don't say that. We can do the whole thing. I told you when you come in, man. We're, we're full Don't service. tell him you shave everything. <laughs> Some weirdos out there. Yeah, man. We'll you shave, shave here, any standard barber. Anything at all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Talk about a clean gun. I'm making a point. Y'all don't have to be quiet. They know when we're in the shop. It's talking. It's talking. I was trying to hear you. Is what I was doing. Bitch. Man, it's a real shame. Say everything. All right. So. I'm an idiot and I didn't show you guys the first location we went to, which is our St. Pete location. But this is our Gibsonton location. Right there. Bob. Open the door. What? He said he's on the vlog now. Oh, what up, Dwayne? What's good? Let's go, baby. Is it D Wayne? <laughs> All right, so that was just a little bit of footage that I recorded. We had Christopher Burke, who is the creator and the founder of uh, the Barber Society on Facebook. We had Tyler Trotter. You already know. Check out Tyler Trotter's YouTube channel. Uh, Perez was there. Danny was there. Chris Local was there. And we was just chopping it up for the weekend. We had Stephen Putman come later on. That was just kind of like some footage that I grabbed just for some memories. I figured I'd just share with you guys in the intro. But nonetheless, here we are. We're ready to get started. There's going to be a shadow fade. Don't do a lot of these because I don't think they pop as much, but this one popped pretty good. Um, it's a shadow fade side part with, uh, with a little bit of volume in the front, combed over. So um, typical popular barbershop um, cut for those who don't want to get too tight on the sides. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off clearing the bulk on the sides. We're using the blade all the way open on my wall coilless seniors. Let's go do this really quick. All right, so after we put our initial guideline in, we're, we're gonna go with our number two that's going to clear most of the the bulk it's going to be our base our foundation and from the number two we're going to blend down
right, so if you look at the chart, um, the one and a half guy says it's black. I'm using a pink coin right now. It's like a like a fuchsia. So don't let that confuse you. This is the one and a half guard, and we're following up right beneath it. With any of the guards that you use, if you're not sure where to open it to, you can start off open just to be safe, because that leaves the hair longer. It's easier to take more hair off than try to add hair after you already took it off, right? So now we have the number one, and it's all the way open, and we're following up right underneath that. A good a good amount of time to try to target this when you the fade part try to be like you know it's in the beginning at least less than 15 minutes at least you know if you if you've been cutting hair for a little while now and you, you you've been putting in some reps then make your next target goal 10 minutes or less and then six minutes and then five minutes you understand what I'm saying for the fade portion Trust me, it's doable. You just gotta set goals and work towards it, but it's not gonna happen unless you practice, you, unless you put repetition in. So, underneath the one open, I'm closing my number one, and I'm right beneath where I just left off. If you guys notice, it almost looks like I'm still cutting in the same place, but you have to watch the cutting teeth, not the guard teeth. Too many times we're watching where the you know where the tips of the guards ends up and if you actually stop and look at it you know the cutting teeth is almost an inch below you know my number one open or half an inch below my number one closed so you gotta make sure you're going up high enough to where it's actually cutting hair all right so now we got at a point where with the blade with the um half guard It'll bring everything together. Together. Damn, language is all messed up. It'll bring everything together. And if it doesn't, then go down one more step to the blade open. Because that's what we use to create that guideline. And then everything will come together. And that'll be the fade. And this is a shadow fade. Um, so if somebody asks you for a shadow fade, it's just, it's that. It's like a five o'clock shadow. It's just stubble on the sides. It's just enough to where you could still line it up all the way around. But still have some pop, so a little bit of a blend. If you start that blade open too low, it's not gonna look like a fade. It's just gonna look like you kind of tapered the, the the very edges of his hairline, and then it's gonna look like a number two on the sides or something, you know. Now, we're not putting the side part on this side, but what I'm doing is I'm just trying to um, separate what belongs on top and what belongs on the side. And then we're gonna do some scissor over comb from the two up and bring everything together. I like scissor over comb because it leaves a nice soft look, but if you decide you wanna do clipper over comb here or or you know stack or use uh, number three, four, or five, you know up, it's up, completely up to you and where your skill level is at. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend you guys get uncomfortable, man. Um, you know, unless you're super busy in the shop or or wherever you're cutting hair. If you're only doing one haircut or something, you know, get uncomfortable. Use that model for different techniques. You know, if if you're just doing one haircut in your in your garage or something. Bro, try it all. Try clip over comb, scissor over comb, the guards, all in the same cut. You could do clip over comb on the right side, scissor over comb on the left side, stack guards in the back. Just whatever you can to ex gain some experiences and some new knowledge. Like in the beginning when I was cutting him, man, everybody was a science project. You know what I mean? I was, I, I was trying to learn as much as possible for every canvas. 
All right, so here we're starting from the calic area because it's the most difficult area to keep from sprouting out. So I like to knock out the difficult area first. And um, we're just doing horizontal partings. The smaller the partings, the more precise the cut will be. And then we'll do that all the way up, trying to keep everything squared. And, and it's hard to explain what squared is um, in these videos, but it's just a straight line across don't dip it with the head like as you go forward don't follow the shape of his head shape the line should be straight across giving a squared effect so and the reason why is you don't want the you don't want the the fringe area for example to look shorter than the top or the calic area to look shorter than the top that's where you run into the problem with the calyx, you know, sprouting out. And what I notice is because a lot of American barbers, especially don't pay attention to, you know, head shape, we end up, you know, with like a number two shaved up to half, <laughs> half of the top of his head. And it just, I don't know, it looks funny to me. So that's, you know, that's one way to kind of keep from from um, ending up with those results. All right, so I didn't show the line up on this C cup just because of the, I'm, guys, I'm recording all this stuff on my phone. So my, my Canon 70D has broken I know I need to buy another one, but damn, a thousand dollars. So um, I've been using what's convenient, and you can see it doesn't do really well with um, with uh, color um, lighting exposure. So I think there's some settings that I can learn and play with, which I will. Um, but till then, this is this is what you got. Um, so in the back. You want to make sure, especially with kids, you know, they have so many in, like little dips and stuff and indents in the nape area. Um, you want to make sure they're looking straight down, stretching out the nape so that when you place on that line, it looks straight and not like a W, for example. Okay. So here we're putting a, 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 light, a little light um, hard part. We have to get a little cosmetic here because if I left him natural, his hairline would be rounded it would look and rounded looks feminine real feminine we want to give him a masculine symmetrical squared look um and i'm not making up you know squared is it's in the textbook right squared is masculine round is softer it's more feminine okay And now the haircut's starting to pop, man. It's amazing what putting a nice line on somebody will do. The blend pops more. The you know, you, you're putting you're putting your picture in a frame, and you're able to see what the picture's you know all about. So now we're applying our 245 shave gel. We use a 245 straight razor. If you're new to the channel, th these are my products, formulated it myself, designed it all myself, and. And uh, as a team, we've we've grown to improve the products. The Toon 45 team, Toon Squad, and um, man, it's been a lot of fun building this company. So I try to go against the grain, you know, and I do that on all my clients. You just gotta make sure you're mitigating inflammation, the risk of inflammation, and one of those ways to mitigate that is using a good shave gel that has active ingredients that will help relieve the skin help replenish the skill break the skin breakage from you know from the from the razor and make sure you're not being too rough man just avoiding inflammation all right so now we're going to style his hair i'm going to finish it off with what you saw there the the 245 victory fiber styling puck his hair was a little damp we're using the a small roller brush to um to dry, to, to brush through the hair, dry it, and then add some volume at the end. And I'll let you guys watch along and see how I do that. But the key is tension and heat 
will create volume and take out some waves you'll notice his hair is really curly like not curly but wavy and curly and once we put this heat and tension you can see how that side right there the volume went a lot of that that waviness went with it so guys um you know a lot a lot of these haircuts it's hard to really get too too advanced with the explanation and stuff because let's be real most of my most of the viewers are people looking for their next haircut or looking for how to cut their kids hair um you know and getting too crazy with it, it's just gonna get a lot of complaints like it like sometimes on my when i get a little advanced in my videos people are complaining in the comments and stuff so it's not for youtube because you know when you when you have millions of views and stuff there aren't millions of barbers like that um and guys when you're playing real quick when you're applying the victory fiber you want to pat it onto the hair because it's it's has a lot of hold and it's very fibrous so you want to pat it onto the top of the hair it's a great topper product right it gives more fullness and it belongs in the strands of the hair not as much in the roots so i like to cocktail a lot when i'm using my victory fiber so a combination of the wax or the matte clay as the base which goes in the roots and then the fiber as a topper and you'll get a very nice shape very nice form a little bit of shine so that's victory fiber but anyways back to what i was saying um you know youtube's not for the advanced barber right if you want to get to the next level where i can spend 30 minutes in a video and not get destroyed by youtube analytics then that's what the online academy is for um the this video will be on the online academy it'll be much longer much uh, more in depth and um it, that you know that stays true with most of the videos that i put on here including some look and learns you know from traveling and educating around the world they'll be on there and then some some business stuff and some marketing stuff you know stuff that unless you're a barber um you're not gonna get value you're gonna you know what i'm saying if you're not a barber you're not gonna get value from it so it doesn't belong on youtube so check that out tune 45 academy.com and this is the finished result guys let me know what you think comment in the comment section below smash that like button subscribe all that good stuff if you're new to the channel um and uh, i'll see you guys down in the comment section.